Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I'm going to show how you, how the MIDI works with Bounce Metronome on, on the Mac. So it plays its notes via MIDI, uh, most of them, except of course it's got the wave shape player, but I'll talk about that in, a, in, in maybe another different talk. But most of the time you're probably using it via MIDI. So the way you choose how, uh, what to play it on is this Choose Out Devices to Play Notes. And there it's got Core Audio. So what I, it normally plays it on is the, is the um, Core Audio on, on, your, on your Mac. And that's the one where I'm not quite sure what it's actually playing on. It has quite a bit of latency on this program, on, on this machine. But you'll notice I've got a couple of other things there. So first of all, that out there, then that is my USB MIDI. So I was very pleased to find that, that my that even though it's inside the wineskin, it can see the USB MIDI if you plug it into the USB on your Mac. So that's no problem at all. And now, and then the same with the in, so config and choose in devices. So it's not so often you're going to want to do that with Bounce Metronome, but uh, sometimes maybe you do. And if you want to play via MIDI in through, through in what, using some of the retuning options or whatever, then again, it recognizes the USB in as well and it's also got this thing called bus one which i'm just about to tell you about so that bus one that is the iac driver so you, you won't get that straight away unless you set it up and this is what you can use to route the midi notes through to your door or your synth or whatever it is that you've got so the way you, if you if you don't know how to do that the way you do it is you go to spotlight and then you choose and you look for audio audio midi setup there then once you've got that, you go to Window, and you go to Show MIDI Window. Now you go and double click on the IAC driver, and you make sure it says Drive Devices Online, and then that gives you this bus one. And you can add more to them, so you can have as many of these as you like, and you can give them all different names. And then you can use those for routing the MIDI notes from one program to another, anywhere you like on the Mac. So this is something that's just built into the Mac. So again, I was very pleased to discover this. Uh, so, so that's how that's how you do that. And uh, and then that should be able to route all your all your programs together, just in case you you haven't come across that yet. And so that's bus one. Like like say you know I can try adding another one. Let's add another one. See what happens. AC bus two and bus three. Does it add them instantly? No, it doesn't. I, I've never even tried that yet. I think it's probably it would do on Windows this equivalent thing. I think I have to close the program, and then if I start it up again, I'm sure it will just detect them then. So it's closed. Yes, start it up again, and then we go and have a look, and hopefully it will have found I see bus two and three. Let's go and have a look, and there we are. It's got IAC bus two and IAC bus three, which you can you can rename those to whatever you want them to be. So that's core audio, the MIDI out of the USB MIDI out that I've got plugged into the computer, and then these three from the IAC bus. So that, that's all I wanted to show in this video, and then I'll, I'll go on to some other things in the next one.